guys so welcome back to the even knows youtube channel if you are new here then definitely consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification button and then it will let you know anytime that i create a new video and bring it out and i try and be consi as consistent as i can with that two, two videos per week but i'm not always perfect at it so that will definitely make sure that you stay on top of those videos um, but if you aren't new here then welcome back again so in this video i really wanted to create a video that was a little bit kind of different but it's not completely different because I do do a couple of videos around these types of topics which is not so much about how to create online income or passive income or digital product income but more on the end of kind of what I do with that income once I've actually created it and that is because I am hugely passionate about personal finance it is something so close to my heart I have been in situations in the past where I didn't make the best financial decisions or people around me weren't making the best financial decisions and I've seen the devastation that goes behind that and I swore to myself quite young um, that I would never want to be financially in a bad situation. I always want to make sure that I am as financially secure as I possibly can be and that I'm making the best financial choices I possibly can be. And I do know that obviously I went into something which is to build digital product or residual income streams or passive income stream. It can be, or lots of people think of it as quite a kind of scary, unstable form of income. It's not the normal nine to five job. And I knew that going into it. And I must admit at the beginning when I was just thinking about the idea of creating passive income and creating online income streams, because I'm such a financially cautious person, I was very definitely, what if this doesn't work? What if I get myself into debt? What if I can't pay my bills? All of those things. So I've always put in place rules that I have, how I allocate my online digital product or passive income that I get coming into me. Because the one thing I will say, the same thing that is absolutely amazing about passive income can also be, I think, quite a dangerous thing about passive income. And that is that passive income, obviously by its very definition, you're not consistently working for it in order to get it. So if you want to learn more about passive income, about what I mean by passive income, all those kinds of things, and definitely go, I should leave some links um, above probably or down in the description box to some different videos with me talking about what I do and what passive income is and that kind of thing. But the thing about passive income is that by and large you're not having to work for the money that you get coming in. That doesn't mean that you don't work full stop because you do, you, you know you're always building and trying to progress your businesses and take them to the next level and achieve more and also keep them and maintain them and all those things but it basically means that you when you're working with a digital product business you're creating a digital product that once you've created it once you never need to basically create that product again so it's not like when somebody buys it you then have to you know restock or recreate a new product literally people are just buying copies of whatever digital product you've created which is absolutely great in terms of you know giving you the freedom that someone can come along and buy up your digital products while you're off doing something else and quite often that's how my businesses work I'm focusing on another aspect of my business or a different type of business and then I'm having a, my other businesses just bringing in kind of income and bringing in sales and things like that but I also found definitely at the beginning of when I started seeing that happening when I started seeing income coming in from things it's the old cliche saying of income coming in while I'm sleeping which is you know some, something I'm quite used to now I wake up in the morning and I'll check some of my different platforms and I'll see that I've got new income come that's come in overnight or during the day yesterday and things like that I had to really quickly get used to the idea of what do I do with that income once I've got where I've got it because it doesn't quite feel the same with my personal experience as income that I've you know worked nine to five for I know the specific how much I'm getting paid per hour and you know I can feel that I have worked for that money so I want to allocate it into here and here and here this is money that you know sometimes and I'll be brutally honest here because I'm, I'm always honest with kind of what my journey as I go through this. Sometimes I'll look on a platform that like I've forgotten about for a week or a month or something and I'll realize that I've made a couple of hundred there or I've made a sum of money there and that's gonna be coming to me at a certain amount of time. Sometimes I'll look on my, my bank and there'll be money that's kind of 
gone into my bank that I didn't realize was going in and that's absolutely great on one hand but it also makes for a bit of unorganized financial planning and never really knowing what money is coming in and also if you're not really really strict on yourself it's easy to think oh well, I've got some money in there I could spend it on that I could just go get that not really calculating that you might need that income or things like that so I just thought I'd do a video I talk to you about what I do with my passive income once it lands into my bank account or once I know that I'm going to get a certain amount of money how I allocate it and hopefully this might help you if you're you know building that type of situation where you're getting money coming in from all different places and you kind of just kind of think about how you structure it really so the first thing that i always like to do is i always have a separate account that all of my passive income streams go into this is what i call my business account and i always keep it separate from my personal account so my personal account is where all of my bills go out of you know i need to know that i have a certain amount in there each month in order to make sure that all of my bills are paid if you know someone gifts me a bit of money for example like my, my mum it goes oh i owe you 20 pounds or something like that. i will go into that personal account but nothing but business related income goes into my business account and this includes obviously all of my passive income streams and that's where all the money gets dropped off i really find that so much more helpful i used to have it where literally i just had one bank account and i was getting stuff dropped in and stuff taken out and it just got so messy and overwhelming that i was just like no 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 so in the end i decided i'm gonna just move all of those into its own separate account so I can see the money that gets dropped in each month even though it may vary um, and I can allocate whatever money I need to pay my bills into a separate account so I'll take whatever you know say if it's 1,500 or something like that, that I need to have in that account or 2,000 or something that I need to have in that account I will literally take that money out of my work account and then put it into my personal account and that's because I just love like that separation I like to see what's come in and then I can kind of see what's going out in the personal account the next thing that I always like to do and this is something that's personally really important to me it might be different for you but for me savings and investments are super super important I always like to take a portion of my online income when it comes in and it gets automatically allocated to my savings account and to my investments so I have those set up so every month for example I know that there's a certain amount that I like to put into for example my stocks and shares and there's also a certain amount that I like to put into my savings account and obviously if you've been following our journey you might know that we're trying to build up building our rental portfolio so we also try and allocate a certain amount each month to that and I have those in separate bank accounts so for example I have my savings account then I have my equity and stocks and shares coming out of my bills because I treat it like a bill that I have to pay every single month and also I have a separate little account that I have for putting money away for the next property that we want to buy and the reason why I've decided to do that is because I tend to find well I found personally that it was very easy for me to see this money come pouring in and if I didn't have like allocated things I was going to do with this money I would end up just kind of spending it or just letting it lie idle and I'd lose track of it and it would just not be really sensible so for me I have it as, as a non-negotiation with that income that comes in I have to be able to save a certain amount I have to be able to allocate a certain amount for my investments and I have to also be able to pay my bills and those are all non-negotiable and then whatever's left might go into a separate little account that I can spend on whatever I would like but those are non-negotiable so I kind of encouraged myself to to force myself basically to save to invest and to make sure my bills are paid on time all with that income so even though that that income might fluctuate each month it all goes into my business account and then I take out whatever I need each month and then I just leave the rest of it in that account in my in my business account to build up so for example if I have a really good month where loads a lot more money than I need is coming in then it stays in that bank account and it's only a certain amount is allocated to certain things and then everything else stays in that business 
this account so that if for example the month after I have a really you know low month compared to when I'm used to then I still have a decent amount of money that I can pull out again it also helps me stay on track as to how much money I need to make each month to cover my bills to cover my savings to cover my investments and things like that the third thing that was something that was really important to me when I started this journey when I started my passive income journey is obviously with there's no I personally don't think that there is any business in the world any income stream in the world that is 100% stable that is never going to fall or drop or let you down or whatever it is I just I would not rely on that whether it's a normal nine-to-five job or it's something in the online world or it's something physical whatever it is so for me what's been super super important and something that's really helped to give me peace of mind is even from day one when I was making barely any money and I was living as frugally as I possibly could I always had in my mind that I wanted to have basically a rainy day fund or it might also be called an emergency fund and I started off with just working firstly towards building up one month's worth of income so enough income to cover, cover all of my bills for one month that was something that I did that was something I did whilst I had basically a full-time job and I was working on building my passive income streams I would basically be trying to combine them together as quickly as I could and start saving that I think it was like a thousand pounds or one thousand five hundred pounds that I thought right that is a case of you know if my passive income streams drop or or if for whatever reason I can't work or something like that then I have that there and then after I built kind of a one month fund I quickly wanted to build that up to a six month fund which is kind of where I am now I, I was going for a 12 month fund and I did manage to achieve that but then I decided that I preferred having a six month fund fund so I have enough income to pay my bills to basically carry my lifestyle on as normal for six months I and mean, then I have that put away in a separate bank account any money that's left over will either get allocated to different things or I can use it towards my investments which is something I did with some excess money that I had a couple of months ago but for me I cannot tell you how important it is to have my emergency fund and that's not because you know I'm immediately anxious that anything's going to go wrong but just because it gives me so much more peace of mind you know online businesses whether they are you know really active businesses or whether they are Built, built to be residual or passive income businesses they all have ups and downs they all have times when they're making a load of income and they're not so much income and it takes time in the online world to find out what an issue is to correct an issue for example to build, build a new digital product business or online business and having that emergency fund having that security to know that if all of my businesses just drop flat tomorrow that I would still have six months to get myself back on my feet to build another business or to build my businesses up or to you know go out and do something else whatever it is is something that's so important to me and it's definitely something that if you're thinking about maybe you're at a point where you're thinking you can maybe move over to just working with your passive income streams or working with your online businesses I definitely recommend having an emergency fund beforehand just to really give you that security that you know that even with the slow, slow slowness I can't say that word even with the slowness of the online business world and and how tedious it can be that you still got security behind you that you could still pay your bills for six months even if things stagnated or anything happened and finally kind of what I want to I suppose make this video about is the concept of being as responsible as you can with this awesome and amazing type of income stream which is you know residual income or digital product income or passive income however you like to call it and um, because it is an absolutely amazing thing somebody in my um, art principles on etsy facebook group the other day just left a message in the group and they just said like you know you have to be careful because building passive income is addictive making sales from digital products is addictive and it really is because once you start seeing money coming in from these products that you've created and you don't have to you know run out and do anything extra to get that or package it or ship it or send it out or buy new inventory or anything like that it really really is addictive and it's so fun but I think that it's so important that with that 
we're equally as responsible on the back end to make sure that if anything happens to those businesses or if we need an emergency amount of money or anything like that that we don't have to instantly give them up because you know we've now got to go out and go get a nine to five job because we need to pay our bills or, or whatever it is for me it really is important to be as financially responsible as i can to have savings to have an emergency fund to also be making investments in the physical world for example with property just to try and diversify myself a little bit more and for me those are just the important things that i like to do with the income that i bring in and i just thought i'd share that with you and um, just because i like to create videos where we're talking about the more personal finance side of things and not just how to make more and more and more income which is absolutely great but I've definitely learnt through the years that it is equally as important to have a plan and an understanding about what you're going to do with any income that you make as it is just to keep making lots more income. So hopefully you find this video helpful. Again, definitely feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and definitely let me know what plans that you have to do with your income that you're bringing in from your businesses. Do you like to put money away? Do you like to build up a, a safety account or an emergency fund? You know, are you someone that you're like, oh, I haven't really thought about doing that before? or you someone who's like no I'm completely on the ball I always strategically like to put my money somewhere to make sure that you know I'm as safe financially as I possibly can be and to be honest please don't I'm not judging anybody I have been there I have made all the mistakes I have you know slowly just built up my own version of what I feel comfortable doing when I see money come into my bank account from my online businesses and I just I've become a lot more strict about what I will and will not do with that money um, yeah, so I just hope you enjoyed this video guys, so I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye!